How's everybody doing today? We are up at it and pulling on to the first road. We've got four yards to do on this road. The next road, we've got another four yards, but yard number one. Yard number two, and this house is for sale. If anybody wants to buy it. Yard number three. And yard number four is gonna be right up there on that hill. But we just pulled up, so we're gonna to get to work. We've got quite a bit to do today, and we'll try and get a lot of footage of everything. Got a small mulch job, some trimming. Gonna be using the accelerator grass bagger to bag a dormant Bermuda yard that is about to kick off in our area. Kick off. That's gonna be fun. It's gonna be a lot of clippings. A lot of dust. I love it when you park at one place and cut four yards. We are driving through, and I'm gonna show you which ones we did. Uh, you probably saw this one. No, you definitely seen several videos on this one with the rose, the grape myrtle, and the peach tree. <laughs> peach. Pear. It's not a pear. 
I got a pair. Oh, number one. That's a bi weekly. This one's a weekly, but we just got on schedule <clears throat> their first, well, second cut. It's cut. Number three, right here, pretty yard. We got some friends over here, my friend. So number three, and then number four, and as we were finishing up number four, possibly number five, perspective. Boom. Boom. Prospect. Prospect. Came out and said, how much? Very nice, how much? So I sat, talked with her for a minute, walked around the yard and looked at it, and uh, hopefully she'll be giving me a call. So that would be five in a row. Park the truck, cut five, let's go. What a, that, don't, that took an hour and 10 minutes to yeah, cut. That stop was an hour and 10. Not bad. And that is, Nice, I love that. So, it is 12.01, eight down, one regular cut, and then we've got a job to do. We have got a job to do. I'm gonna drop the skag off at the house. Uh, Tori's coming along for the ride, because we are going to bag some grass. Does that sound fun, Will? You gonna bag some grass. I'm gonna bag some grass. <laughs> I'm gonna put the uh, accelerator grass catcher to use. What's for lunch? What's a pot of lunch at today? <laughs> well, we ain't we'll going see y'all at the next yard. saw I got a bunch of footage of those first four yards we cut um, then we moved down the street and we had another four yards straight in a row uh, on a corner so there was four houses right there 
I love those. I love it when it's when you pull up, you park, you cut four yards. I mean, it's just it's it's route density. I mean, it couldn't get no denser than that. Those houses I could throw from the first four houses. I could throw a rock and pretty much hit the next street over that the next four houses were on. And that eight houses within two hours, two and a half hours, I mean, it's yards to cut. It's what, it's, that's a no-brainer right there, especially when they're right there. Park the truck, cut four or five yards, get back in the truck, boom. You saw those couple of yards, and then the next couple of yards uh, we drove past after we were finished. And after that, I had to bring the skag to the house, put it in the shed. We went and grabbed two yards of mulch. We went up and did a landscaping job where we trimmed five bushes, cleared out some of the old mulch. And after we cleared out the old mulch, we cut and bagged the yard. Wasn't very much bagging to do since we only took maybe an inch off, uh, but it the yard hadn't been cut since it went into dormancy. So we cut and bagged up all that dust, and after that we blew everything off and laid some mulch and then cleaned up. And while we were doing that, the neighbor across the street noticed what we were doing. He said, hey man, let me get a business card. He came up just like... So I said, <laughs> Said, oh, you need a business card. All right, man, that's cool. Uh, he said, he said, those bushes look good. I want you to do mine. He was just like, I'll pay you now? Because they were taking off to go on a walk. I said, well, we'll be here for a little while. I'm going to finish this job up, and then we'll take care of you. He said, all right, perfect. I'll pay you. I'll be back in 30 minutes, 45 minutes, something like that. I said, yeah, we'll still be here, man. So as soon as he got back, we were just about finished up. Uh, met with him, collected payment, took care of the job. He was very happy with it. He's got several dead trees he wants dug up, pulled up, something new put down. He's got my card. He's got my information. He knows who to call to get the job done. So after we finished up that job, we came back, took the rest of the mulch, which was only not even enough to fill up a wheelbarrow. I donated that to Will. Uh, he said he'd, he could use the mulch. So I gave it to Will. And we came back, got the skag loaded up, went and cut one yard to quote another yard. And it was a it was a client that I'd usually just do her backyard because her hill, um, usually they would take, they had two reel mowers and they would cut the front and back. But the hill was just, it was, you couldn't, you couldn't cut it with a reel mower. So... Usually I cut the hill, but they're they're trying to do a quick sell on their house. They're trying to get back out to Montana, I believe is where they're from. So they're getting out quick. So I went up there, quoted the whole yard for them, and they said, awesome, can you go ahead and do it? So we were finished with the day. I said, yes, we can go ahead and do it. I actually rushed to try and get up there so that we could get that job taken care of as well. I know they had uh, some kind of a virtual realtor or something like that was coming up to walk through the house and you know do an overview of the yard and stuff like that just to get that, try and get their house sold. Uh, and then after that we had another estimate to go look at and my phone has been going off nonstop. And I love it. Spring is in the air, everybody's looking for somebody. I'm your guy. All right, so before we conclude the video, I did want to show you I had a sticker come in the mail. It's Briar's Lawn and Landscape. Ashton, I appreciate the sticker. Uh, he also sent a magnet and a business card. The magnet is up on my refrigerator because that's what magnets are for, holding stuff up. So, buddy, I appreciate that. Y'all go check him out at Briar's l, l on YouTube. So with that being said, guys, I hope y'all had a great day. I know I had a great day. Will had a great day, he told me. Now, since it rained today, we do have quite a bit going on tomorrow. So hopefully I can snack some footage. Maybe we can have something pretty interesting to talk about. If not, oh well, I know y'all might just enjoy some mowing footage, especially after that crazy winter we had. So mild. But some of you guys up north are still getting some snow. So maybe y'all like just watching grass getting cut. 
and I'm going to try and provide that for you. So if you haven't yet, please hit that like button, subscribe, and we will see you very soon. Peace.